All right, he's going to move on. Nothing to see here, Rexy. Oh, but the Diablo is there. Oh, the Rex is going to get the... No, the potato gets molested by the aloe, and now it's going to be used as like a sex hole or something for the Rex. That's not okay. All right, guys. So I want to give you a couple disclaimers before we get into this video. One, this video is going to feature a ton of in-development dev kit stuff that I have permission to use from Dondi's Twitch stream because he was showing me all of this stuff last night while I spoke to him on Skype. Things are obviously still in development, and with that comes the fact that there will be bugs and some things are not working as intended. They are working on these things. So don't think this is the final product and you don't like something. So it's like, oh, gross. It's, it's, it's going to be shit. That's not the case. It is in development. And finally, because I have to say this because people love to rip things from my videos and re-upload them as their own content or re-upload my entire videos and claim it's their own content. I do not give permission for anyone to rip anything from this video directly and put it into their own projects or content. I hate to throw that in there, guys. I really hate to have to even say that, but it's happened so many times. I'm at a point now where I actually have to to protect my own content and make sure my content is my content. If you do want to use these clips or anything related to this, you're better off contacting the original holder of the clips, which is Dondi, and seeing if he will give you permission to use it. Otherwise, it's just blatant disrespect and, well, you risk copyright strikes and stuff like that. It's a, it's a messy situation, but that's it. We are going to get into this now. Thank you for hearing me out in the beginning of that, guys. I really appreciate it. And the majority of this video will probably just be dev kit stuff and then me messing around with my trike later on because I want to play with my trike. All right, so that all said, we are going to move into the cannibal animations first, and then I have basically all of the hypo spino sounds and animations as well. The attacks and the broadcast is pretty freaking savage. And there's also a t like a total showcase of Dondi playing around with this guy uh, in the dev map and like how it'll actually look when you're playing as this thing, which is pretty cool. But for now, onto the cannibal, we got some reverse animations going on, looking pretty crisp. I'm surprised they actually started working on this guy so much with the hypo spino coming up so soon. Like that surprised the shit out of me, actually. It's just walking forwards now, obviously, or crawling or whatever it does. There's going to be a lot of jump cuts, too, by the way, because there's some things that I actually had to cut out. Uh, you can see the cannibal here just standing up, doing its own thing. Kind of looks like a meth addict, to be honest with you. He's, he's cracking out or some shit. Call this guy a fiend. Damn, the texture looks good, though. The model looks really good, too. And if you guys do enjoy these uh, these these types of videos, let me know by leaving a like on the video, obviously. Uh, some sections of this, too, might not have some commentary, because, well, I don't want to take away all of the... I don't know, aesthetic appeal by speaking over it and stuff, so that's... <laughs> uh, yeah, you see, he agrees. He's just, he's partying out because he knows I'm going to shut the shit up soon. Actually, that's just the jump animation. He had to slow it down because it's such a fast animation. You can see just what it looks like. And it looks great. Like, it looks like a freaking gazelle is getting ready to leap into the air or some shit. If a gazelle had giant claws and a demonic face. Yeah. That's a thing. Just falling, doing nothing big right now. God, the land is so fluid. Look at that. It looks perfect. Like, if these things existed... This is basically as close to the realism as you can get of this thing. It's kind of a little hyper, though. So here you can see its grapple latch, whatever you want to call it, how it's hanging onto a tree or maybe the side of a building. Can you imagine seeing that face looking through a piece of glass at you? I'd shit myself. Like, I would just not record the aisle anymore if that was a thing. You can see just the animations for when it's flying through the air, getting ready to leap onto something. We saw we saw pictures of this, actually. Um, like, just the just the model, no texture or anything, or like fluid animation, just a picture of it. Uh, we had seen that a while ago, and it's good to see that animation finally there. I think this is sneaking right now. It's kind of just trying to sneak up on something. I think this is sneaking. I'm pretty sure this would be crouching or whatever. It's probably super silent, too. Like, this thing is probably the master of stealth. It's probably going to make no sound at all while it's walking around. God, it's like Michael Jackson with longer legs. That is cool. 
that is just taunting at you. It's just it's looking at you. He's like, I'm going to pounce at you in any second. It's going to be a bad time. And here's the hypo spot. I'm moving into this, obviously. This is the eat animation. God, that is so savage. I'd love to see its claws like picking apart at the body too, like scratching it or something. Like it's just trying to trying to mush up the meat a little bit before it goes in for the big bites. And I love how long the animation is too. It is such a different animation compared to what we have. I feel like you wouldn't want to eat though if there's a hyporex around. It would probably get you. That's obviously a broadcast. God, that is the stuff of nightmares. That's friendly. Not too friendly. I assume that's the four call. That's just drinking general animations for that nice and quick. Ah, it's not even a quick animation though. It's just like a double drink. It needs a lot of water. There's the attack animation. Pretty fast. I feel like it should have a little bit more, but I mean, there's not too much you can do with it. This is just the run, obviously. It has a limp in it because it's just, it's, it just wants to kill you. You imagine that behind you trying to catch you? And this is the swim animation, which is something we have not seen, like, yet at all. Swim animations is pretty cool. And, uh, pretty clear this guy is gonna be pretty good in the water, I think. Not as good as the quadrupedal, but... And this is an entire overview in-game with footage of playing around, so I'm gonna shut the shit up. Yo, it dwarfs the Rex. Look at that. The Rex might as well be a freaking an Ostro or some shit. And then not a Bronto. Damn, this thing is massive. This is way bigger than I thought it'd be. Oh, and here's some final footage of it, uh, of it eating an actual corpse and how it'll look. And then when the gore system comes in too with like ripping limbs apart and shit, like I could imagine this thing just ripping off a Shant's leg and like swallowing it whole. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be so freaking cool! Well, I don't think it'll have the features yet. I think this guy is supposed to be able to eat things whole or something. I doubt that's going to be a feature that'll be in with it just yet. Um, we're probably just getting the stock creature right now, and then they'll move into, like, the more advanced stuff later on. But, I mean, regardless, having it in this state is pretty freaking badass, and this is one of the endgame creatures, too. So, they're, they're working on the endgame content is always cool to see it early like this. All right, so we're back on our friendly little trike now, guys. Welcome back to the Realism series. What you've seen is some pretty cool stuff, though, on the Hypo Spino. A lot of trikes over there. And the Cannibal as well. Um, a lot of that stuff is going, like... It's it's nuts how fast they're actually firing some of this stuff out. Because, like, that, there's a lot of complex stuff you got to do to make game stuff. And, like, 
it's hard to understand if you haven't seen what's being made. But being on my end of things and seeing like how they're making these things and being around for the step-by-step -step process, especially with a game the, like the Isle, it is an incredible experience. And like it's made me want to be a game dev myself. I'll never do it though because I just don't have that kind of patience. Uh, to deal with like some of the stuff that they have to deal with and just a lot of different things But it's really cool guys. Let me know what you think about all the animations and everything you had just seen That was like the biggest overview video of a, of a update that's coming I've probably ever done and uh, I'm pretty happy. I was given permission to use a lot of that footage But either way enough about the hypo spino that will be coming to a server near you very 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 soon uh, Maybe a realism server to scare people. Wink, wink. <clears throat> Not killing people, though. But, um... <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and mess around with our trike for a bit. We are the badass of the world. We don't have to worry about anyone messing... It. Like, see this Giga right here? Actually, he might mess with us. Or is he gonna trot down this Carno? Let's just walk away from the Giga. I don't want to deal with the Giga right now. But I do want to get some food. Nutrition would be lovely to have. Now, I actually don't even... Are they fighting? No. I actually don't even know if uh, I can handle a Giga. Like, I have a lot of health. I've got a lot of weight behind my horns. But at the end of the day, I feel like if a Giga wants us, it could probably get us. Uh, look, it it kind of looked like I was trying to target that Carnal then. That, was, that would actually look bad on my part. I might try and move over by these strikes and see if they would accept me into their uh, into their little herd they have going. I don't even know if they're allowed to do that, to be honest, but I think they might be able to, possibly. I also want to know if the gore on this guy does more damage than the uh, than the hook attack. I gotta find out about that because last time I played Trico was really buggy. That Giga is just right behind me. I feel like a pack of Gigas or a pair would probably mess me up. Take a drink. I don't think he's gonna mess with us. No, he probably won't. Looks like he's trying to bypass us entirely. I don't blame him though, like, Trikes are probably still really, really, really dangerous. I could break his leg and mess him up. I wouldn't go out of my way to try and kill him. I would try to wound him if anything. But like, I wouldn't go out of my way to actually try and uh, and kill the guy because that would that would that would be that would be horrible on my part and and their part because like that's that's a lot of time spent trying to get to an apex, and I would feel like a dick if I had to. I would go down fighting, like I would kill then. But like, if I feel like I'm in a good position where I'm safe, I won't uh, I won't actually try to kill them. There's a Rex just over that hill. And an Acro, apparently. And there's a Giga moving over there right now. And the Giga better stay the shit away. Ooh, it's broadcasting. I bet that Rex isn't gonna like that. Oh, shit. These guys better duke it out. You got a Rex in your territory, man. Or maybe the Rex is a Giga in their territory. He's like sniffing him out. No, you don't want to go after the Rex? Come on. Let's see a Giga and a Rex fight for territory. That'd be cool as shit. Come on, man. You can do it. You just gotta believe. Actually, don't because that'll probably get you killed, to be honest with you. I mean, I probably shouldn't be going over here. Like, it's probably gonna get me killed. But like, at the end of the day, I want to see what this shit's happening. I got a couple trikes around me, too, so... I'm kind of okay. I gotta take a run up over here. And see what's going on past this hill. I think the Rex might be going after an Acro because I heard an Acro freaking out. Alright, so we have a little bit of a, a herd going on now. So we're a little bit safer. Diablos are good. Hackies are good too. Alright, so I think we're all good here. Uh, what we could do is get some food maybe or something? Because, I mean, I'm sure they, they're, they're probably a little bit peckish by now. There's a Giga right there. He won't mess with us. I don't think he will. He, ooh, that pew, though. He might want that pew. I'm gonna let that Giga walk by. Eh, 
Eh, that's right. You better walk on. Just want to get to that water. <laughs> I like that word. He better move like oh, I want to get to that water. Where's he going? He's dipping out wherever he's going. All right. Good enough. So that guy is not going to be a problem anymore. I would hope not, at least. We can go ahead and fill up our water again. We weren't that thirsty, but we needed some water. So I think it's justifiable. <laughs> <laughs> All the confrontation in the world is justifiable, I guess. There's a trike over there. Alright, let's just keep moving on then. Ooh, there's a lot of shants there. Oh, he's hiding from something. He's going to ambush something. Oh, he's getting ready. He can see something there. No, he can't. Never mind. What's he doing? Ambushing to the water? You need to drink that bad? You gotta burn down all your stem? Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and take this field right here. Uh, it's a little out of the way from things, and we can still have a good overview of where that Giga is, which is just down right there. Uh, we do have some... Uh, we do have some small critters with us hanging out. There was a Packy back there. We have three trikes with us, two in their mail, so there's probably gonna be a bullfight soon as well. Uh, the Rex is just over that hill, so I'm keeping an eye out for it, but I don't think it's going to mess with us right now. You're a turkey, too. Not a good time. All right, well, this food, actually, the, the convenient thing about this food is if you eat it, it gives you 10 hunger. Instead of one hunger, you get 10, which is freaking amazing. It is so convenient. You don't even know the days of eating 800 plants because you were down on hunger... Oh, man, it was hell. Oh, it was total, utter hell. Oh, oh, thank God we don't have to spend most of our time eating me. Yeah, you are a giga, and I will ruin you. All right, so I don't even know if there's a bullfight that's going to happen, because it's not breeding season right now. Um, from what I understand, and from my, my assumption of it, is that if the female starts laying a nest, you know, then the bulls would fight, and that's, that's basically breeding season. You know, like, whoever gets on top. Um, <laughs> no sex pun intended. <laughs> you get the idea though like it's that's that's the way that i i would assume that is with breeding season and stuff i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna relax a little bit see if anything happens around me because there's really not much going on that giga's been messing around with us for a while now and i don't want to have him around here or her but we'll have to wait and see what happens Oh shit! Oh! Oh shit! They're gonna get into it! Gotta get away from that. Giga Anorex. Ooh, the Rex is going to scare him off. Oh, shit. And that Giga. 
That Giga doesn't want anything to do with it. Now, I'm not going to follow the Rex anymore and antagonize him. I don't even know the Rex was there. Damn, that Giga got chased off, though. Rex wasn't taking any shit. There goes, you got an aloe moving up behind you. Or wait, is the... No, the server's not crashing. The Rex behind me, the aloe in front of me. The Rex is still going after the Giga. Like, he, he just doesn't want him anywhere around here. Oh, the aloe attacked the... Oh, no, the potato. Actually, I'm pretty sure the potato would destroy an aloe. We're actually not allowed to intervene in that. That Diablo is all on its own. The Rex is on the way back over here. I'm gonna have some plants. That poor I can't I can't hurt the potato! No! This isn't okay. Shit, that Rex is right there. All right, he's going to move on. Nothing to see here, Rexy. Oh, but the Diablo is there. Oh, the Rex is going to get the... No, the potato gets molested by the aloe, and now it's going to be used as like a sex hole or something for the Rex. That's not okay. Damn it. I, I can't help the... The potato's so cute, too. Oh, God, he's dead. Oh, you poor guy. All right, well... Oh, that sucks ass. <sighs> All right, whatever, I guess. We're just going to keep on moving on. Sorry, potato. Couldn't help you. You got baked. My bad. Sorry about that, man. We're just we're just getting away from Rex and Giga territory. Come on, let me up. Let me up. Uh, uh, there we go. All right, we're good. This looks so cool. Look at all these trikes. You guys are badasses. Straight up badasses. That is so freaking cool. God, this looks so freaking cool. Yo, this is so cool. All right, well, as far as this video is concerned, guys, I think it is done and over with. We uh, we fended off a Rex and a Giga. Rex, could have quite he, he could have gotten me. Like, he could have been down on me. I didn't know he was there. A freaking silent little bugger over there, but... Ah, oh, shit. I spoke too soon. The Rex is coming. Ah, uh, it's not a good idea. Oh well. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Let me know your thoughts on all of the new stuff that I've shown you in this video, along with the realism on the trike. Do you think we should have fought for dominance or whatever before breeding season, or should we have done it during breeding season? I think I think during breeding season is when you're supposed to do it. I could be wrong. I might have just, like, completely messed up and broke a server rule for all I know. But I think... I think... I'm in the right to say that it has to be during nesting because that's, that's breeding season to me. But that's it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.